Hi, in this slide we're going to talk about step five in the uh, journeyware uh, of uh, this uh, process. Uh, once we've figured out the root root cause of super profitability or super unprofitability, we then have to come up with a play. What's, what's our solution? And here I'm just going to talk generally in, in, in general terms about this because later on uh, we'll look at specific case studies. But when we're looking at best customers and worst customers, the best customers, when we look at how they buy and what they're buying and so forth, we realize that, that and when we do an audit, we go out there and we follow the, uh, our product and paperwork through the place and talk to different people. We find out that these these customers are very, they plan very well, they forecast their needs very well, they've given a lot of thought to buying most efficiently, um, and they have a place for everything, everything is in its place, their reorder points, reorder quantities. They, they, they're very disciplined about about everything. Just like somebody who has, who's a, a two working parents who've got six kids, you know, guzzling milk and food at home, they, they've got very good systems in their kitchens. So they don't have to run out to the grocery store 62 times a day. Um, so they can reorder less frequently, but very large and still not have a lot of excess stock and never stock out. But they're, they're typically taking, they're looking at the total supply chain uh, story from, but their, their perspective, they're not really kind of looking at it from our side and saying, you know, is there is there a way that we could accomplish all that we're doing and 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 be more generous to uh, our supplier? Uh, typically, we do just really well out of benign neglect because they're just so disciplined. Um, but if we can add our perspective and we can actually go and and audit five, six, seven customers who are in similar similar birds of a feather, we can come up with sort of a ro more robust best practice tuning set of ideas. And so we can actually go out and, and add to what they've already done and help them tune it even better for, for, for mutual benefit. Uh, at the other extreme, the worst customers will find uh, the individuals that use the stuff, that supervise the people who use the stuff, that buy the stuff, that oversee the whole business. They each have their specific silo metric they're sort of focused on. So it might be, gee, you know, I just want to get a low price. And they over obsess on that, not realizing that the other 10 elements of total procurement costs have gone up even more than the price went down. They could have a narrow buying philosophy, like we don't want any inventory, everything, including paper clips, has to be just in time. And they could just be poor planners. And as a result of it, it's like there's now and not now. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm out of something. I need it now to solve a big problem or the big downtime cost or unproductive. So it creates an emergency for us. And we're supposed to eat their, their noise and their cost and share in their pain in a sake because we're, I guess, we're partners. Um, when it comes to the item view on things, uh, the most profitable items obviously are big volume. Uh, there's big margin dollar per pick. We get to buy them on a very frequent basis is to fine tune our inventory investment level. So we have very high fill rates, but very few of the items in the line are ex excessively stocked. Um, the worst items uh, are very popular. They get picked all the time, but they're typically very small gross margin dollar per pick. So we need to sell them in bigger bundles and or there are a few customers that are buying by the teaspoon and we have to come with an alternate plan, kind of like selling washers uh, to uh, the hardware wholesale guy. Uh, the key thing though about all this stuff is we're still speaking in generic terms. Uh, in the next section on customer nicheonomics, we realize that if we can look through a customer niche lens, all these things become turbocharged. So we get even more value for the customer, lower cost to serve for us, and higher sustainable profitability. So that's a preview of coming attractions. Thank you.